Okay, a bit of maintenance today. Before I set out this morning, uh, or after, just after I set out this morning, I noticed a few creaks that I didn't normally hear, which was a bit concerning. So, I went over with a hex, a few hex screw nuts and um, and spanners and things, and found that okay this guy here and the guy in the middle there were a bit loose but not overly so these two guys here were quite loose finger loose um, and this one here was loose finger loose all the others were tight so anyway I tightened them up one of these bolts here was a little loose, not overly so. It's still quite tight, but not as tight as the other side. These were all good. Um, okay, so the suspension rear, the rear of the rear suspension, um, which is like the nut and bolt assembly that was that was quite loose like not floppy loose um not rattly loose or anything but not nice and tight so i tightened both sides up uh, with a spanner and hex drive um also a couple of these ones in here non-essential stuff but they were a bit loose tightened them up okay and the other um now, the other one that was loose, that I was a bit worried about, was underneath. I'm just trying to find it. Um, yeah, so it was. Ah, yes, this here. Um, this guy here. So that was that. That was quite loose on both sides. I mean, that's a, that's the pivot point for the rear suspension, um, for, or for the rear fork. Yeah, that, I mean, it wasn't right again. It wasn't roughly loose, but it was a lot loose, and I'd like it. Um, yeah, uh, and oh yeah, the one of these guys. I forget which side was loose. Um, so I tightened all them up and the rattling sound went away and I've put like 30 kilometers on it since there's no problems. Um, however, one problem I did notice is the head is a bit, bit loose. Uh, rocks backwards and forwards a little bit, just by a millimeter or something. So it's tight, but... I think the bearings are worn or it's just not tightened down on the bottom enough so I'm going to have to undo that tighten it up a bit and just see how that goes um, but it's not going to pop off or anything uh, yeah other than that everything seems pretty good okay so I've loosened these off and and this okay this bottom one was like up here somewhere um i think there must have been some wear in the in the bearing rail because that was very tight and had been locked lock nutted in place oh, a couple hundred kilometers three four hundred kilometers ago um, and when it was, it was in a perfect position. It was no, no, no play in that at all. Um, and but now this bottom one has come down quite a way before it's tied again. I'm just going to tighten that down so that there's no play in there. But probably those bearings need replacing, very least repacking, but also replacing. So, yeah, soon I'm going to 
want to redo the head there um, just to be on the safe side okay let me see if I can prop this camera up somewhere that goes yep so that seems to you know, be pretty good there's no see the mini clay there. I don't want to tighten it down too much. Okay so the, the deal with these, if you've never done this before, this is a lock nut. So you've got two nuts. Now whenever you tighten, when you've got two nuts on the same thread and you tighten them against each other, you actually lock the two of them into position on the thread. So you don't want to tighten that one, bottom one down real tight because you'll crush the bearings. But you don't want it loose either. Um, so you need to lock it in place. So it adjusts the right tightness, uh, the right pressure on the on the top of the bearings without being too too much pressure. So what you do is you lock it with the top nut. So you get you get this one right, the bottom one, then you hold it. And then with your other spanner, you need, you'll need multi-grips for this, unless you've got a really big spanner. Then you tighten the, the top one down on top of the bottom one without moving the bottom one. See? So you don't move the bottom one. You want to keep it in position. Then lock the top one down on top of it until it's nice and tight. And then, then the bottom one isn't going to shift. So that's how you do that, and obviously I'm doing it, which I didn't show you, is the opposite. You hold the bottom one, you're always holding the bottom one in position, and then you just undo the top off the top of it until it's loose. And then adjust your bottom one where you want it, and then lock the top one down, like that. Simple.